today the topic under discussion is the wpw syndrome so what does this wpw syndrome mean it is nothing but the wolf parkinson white syndrome so to get started the main point is that it is a characterized by an abnormal accessory pathway it is characterized by there is an abnormal and accessory it's an abnormal accessory pathway and it is in the heart which leads to the arrhythmias so it is present in the heart and what does it lead to it leads to the arrhythmias now we'll move on to the pathology of it so in case of the pathology there is a bond with an accessory pathway the a bundle of kent the bundle of kent it involves a bundle of kent which connects the atria and the ventricle so this connects the atria and the ventricle the electric impulse from the sa node it reaches the ventricles earlier so the electrical impulse from the sa node reaches the ventricles earlier reaches the ventricle and this happens earlier earlier we are the accessory pathway so this is by the accessory pathway and it happens earlier because there is no av nodal delay because there is no av nodal delay in pathway and this leads to a pre excitation of the ventricle so it leads to pre excitation so it leads to the pre excitation of the ventricle and initiation of the ventricular contraction so it leads to the pre exciting of the ventricle and helps in the contraction and initiates it initiates the ventricular initiates the ventricular contraction and this ventricular contraction is prolonged when the impulse is by the and this ventricular contraction if you see this is prolonged it is prolonged when the impulse is via the av nodal pathway reaches the ventricles the av nodal pathway it reaches the ventricle hope it is clear now when we move on to the most common location the mc location of the accessory pathway of the accessory pathway so this is nothing but it is between the left atrium and free wall of the left ventricle and free wall of the left ventricle so it's between the left atrium to the free wall of the left ventricle next we'll move on to looking at some ecg changes so in terms of ecg changes there's a shortened pr interval there is the shortened pr interval so why does the shortened pr interval takes place so this is because of the early initiation of the ventricular depolarization this is because of the the shortened pr is because of the early initiation so there is early initiation of the ventricular depolarization so early initiation of the ventricular depolarization next we are going to look at the prolonged qrs duration so next will be the prolonged qrs duration so this is nothing but because of the av nodal impulse this is because of the 
AV nodal impulse. So this reaches the ventricles after the aberrant impulse. So AV nodal impulse reaching the ventricles after after the aberrant impulse. Aberrant impulse. Next we will move on to the delta waves. So the delta waves So the delta waves are nothing but it is a slurred upstroke of it is a slurred upstroke it is nothing but a slurred upstroke of the QRS complex and now we'll be looking at the some of the treatment of the W PW syndrome so how to treat it so the treatment is nothing but a catheter ablation so treatment is nothing but a catheter ablation in the treatment of choice so this is the TOC treatment of choice and then there is also some antiarrhythmic drugs so there are some antiarrhythmic drugs so what are the antiarrhythmic drugs which are involved here so let's uh, look at them so the antiarrhythmic drugs it includes there is a presence of procainamide there is procainamide next comes the amiodarone quinidine then there is also the propafenone the propafenone then the dofetilide and they are used in slowing conduction in accessory pathway they are used in slowing conduction slowing conduction in the accessory pathway and it prolongs the refractive period prolongs the refractive period The next, so the main treatment of choice was catheter ablation and then we saw the antiarrhythmic drugs. Now there is another, there is IV procainamide. So this IV procainamide is a DOC. It is nothing but the drug of choice. And this takes place in the hemodynamically stable, in hemo dynamically stable so it occurs in hemodynamically stable WPW presenting with the atrial fibrillation so it presents with the atrial fibrillation next would be by the DC so there is a DC cardioversion so DC cardioversion so it is done in hemodynamically in a hemo dynamically unstable patients it is done in hemodynamically unstable patients so this is where we covered the entire wpw syndrome we looked at the definition we looked at the pathology we saw the most common location and we also saw the some ecg changes that is the shortened pr interval qrs duration prolonged and the delta waves then we saw the treatment with the catheter ablation being the treatment of choice. So this was about the WPW syndrome to learn and grow daily. Please do subscribe. Mm -hmm.